Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can edit Baby into the Santa's Hands digital background by LSP Actions. This adorable digital background is so easy to use, even if you're a beginner. All you need is Photoshop and the digital to get started. So make sure you have downloaded your digital background, the Santa's Hands Digital, from the LSP Actions website. You can get this at www.lsp-actions.com. It's called Baby in Santa's Hands Digital Background. Make sure you save it somewhere safe on your computer and go ahead and open up Photoshop. Come up here to File, Open. This will work in um, uh, newer versions of Elements, CS5, CS6. Um, I'm using Photoshop CC Creative Cloud to open this one. So click Open and go ahead and locate the Santa's Hands Digital on your computer. It's a multi-layer PSD file. And hit Open. And when it opens, it will look a little bit like this. Depending on um, how your scene's set, you may see a different background there. There are four backgrounds to choose from. Now it's important that you can see your layers panel because this is a multi-layer digital. It comes preloaded with several layers you can use, plus a special layer that tells you where to add your baby image. If you can't see your layers, come up here to Window and hit Layers. Or you can F7 or Control um, Command F7 or Function F7 if you're on a Mac. So you'll notice up here we have um, a, a layer group that says Hand Over Baby. You add your baby beneath this and it will appear that baby is nestled into Santa's hand. So it's important that you leave this one on. Underneath the area where you add baby, you have the Santa base layer. Don't move this one, it's exactly where it needs to be because it relates to this one up here. And if you open the backgrounds group here by clicking this little drop down on the, uh, the folder, it's a group, you can open it up and you'll see you have four backgrounds. You have trees in the distance, the window, magic over the top, <laughs> and the background base which is a grey texture. So you can choose which background you like by hitting the little eye icon and you can change your mind as you go if you want to. Or you can turn these off, you'll see it becomes transparent and you can simply add your own background image uh, behind Santa here. This may be a stock image or it may be an image you've shot yourself. So this is a very very flexible digital. You may find that you want to add baby in and then change the background and see which one suits the lighting on your baby image the most. So I'm going to keep it with the window for now. I'm going to go ahead and close this just to keep things neat and tidy. You want to add baby that has been shot in the tushy up pose or the bum up pose. That one works really well. Huck fin will also work as long as you shot straight on. So you don't want to be shooting from above baby. You don't want to be shooting up from underneath. You want to be kind of getting on baby's level and shooting dead on. You'll also find this easier to edit if you've shot baby on a pale colored background. If you've shot baby on a very dark background, that's fine. When you add them in, you're going to have to um, add a little bit more editing to kind of mask around the edges to bring that brightness back up again. Otherwise baby may look a little bit cut and pasted, which is not what you want. So you can add baby by hand, or you can add baby by using the LSP Add Baby uh, Photoshop Action Set. You can get this on the website. Um, here it is, it's www.lsp-actions.com. This is the Add Baby Digital Composite Photoshop Actions, and that's what I'm going to be using in this video to place the baby. But all the steps I carry out in this video, you can also do by hand too. So first of all, you want to make sure you've clicked on the Add Your Baby Here layer. You don't want to add baby above the hands, or underneath Santa. These layers are literally exactly as they say. They are stacked on top of each other, kind of like layers of paper. So you want to add the baby in the right place, which is this orange layer here. If you're adding manually, you need to come up to File and hit Place Embedded, and then you can go ahead and find the baby image. It's important that you add an, a, an edited baby image first. You don't want to add a baby that's had no skin editing done because then you're going to have to do it all afterwards. So make sure you've edited baby, you've added your normal skin editing, you've balanced the light, the tones, the reds, the jaunders, anything like that and save the image. So first of all you need to go and find the baby image on your computer. I am using the newborn digital background um, Photoshop actions. These do not come with this digital. You can edit by hand, you don't need them, but they make it a lot easier. So if you want those you can go and grab those separately on the LSP Actions website. And I'm going to choose this one here. You can see Baby was shot um, in the tushy up pose on a bed prop for this one. I've cropped in and I've already edited her skin, so she is good to go. 
So what you need to do is um, make sure the light is coming from the right direction. So if, for example, baby is facing the wrong way and the light is coming from the left in your image, you need to flip so that the light is coming from the right, as it is in this digital. The light is coming from the right. So make sure that you've flipped and got the light the right way. I'm playing the action, so I'm just letting the action play out. You're going to want to resize um, baby into Santa's hand. Roughly a, um, a baby would be about the size of the forearm here. But of course, if baby's a little bigger or a little older, you're going to want to kind of make them look a realistic size. Santa is not a giant. You don't want baby to look tiny. But equally, um, Santa is not one of his elves. <laughs> you want to make sure that baby is a realistic size in his hands for a realistic composite. And you can always move baby a bit more. Now I'm adding uh, using the actions, as I said, so this makes it semi-transparent for me, nice and easy to add. If you're not um, adding using the actions, you may wish to turn the um, opacity of this layer down a little bit to allow you to position properly. And you'll see how Santa's hand is already going over the top of baby there, which gives you a really clear, um, easy way to composite in. So hit enter, and the next step will be masking your baby in. Now my actions uh, make the baby layer invisible, so you need to use a hard, white brush. Um, if you're just masking without the actions you can just do your normal masking however it is that you would um, normally edit the baby into a digital. You don't need to worry about the bottom too much because that is hidden already under Santa's hand. Because I'm on CC I'm going to use the select subject option because I'm a little bit lazy but you can mask however you want. So I'm going to go ahead back on the layer mask. If you're not sure what layer masks are they're kind of like a scratch card added to your um, to a layer, an individual layer in Photoshop. Black means hide. You can see I'm on a black brush painting. The layer mask is selected. So even though I'm painting over the image, I'm actually painting over this mask here. And white means show. You can switch between a black brush and a white brush um, to show or hide your baby as necessary. So I'm going to switch back to a white one now, just to add that little bit of hair in. So it's important you get a good cutout. Although if you've shot baby on a pale background. Uh, then you're going to find the masking a lot easier. You'll find it's a lot easier to be a little bit sloppy with your masking um, on a pale background. If you've shot on a dark background, you're going to have to be a little bit more disciplined. So that's basically it. The, uh, the handover baby has a shadow in place already. You can carry on shadowing and shading, editing baby however you like if you want to. But it really is that easy. Add baby in right here where it says and cut them out, mask them. You're going to want to make sure you shot baby um, at at least I'd say an f um, 5.6 possibly even higher to make sure baby isn't too blurry or out of focus because that's going to kind of interfere with your masking a little bit but again it can be done it just take you a little bit more work you can of course edit baby further if you want to at this point if the color doesn't quite match perhaps baby looks a little blue or a little yellow you can add more layers in um, I'd recommend clipping these layers to the baby I've just played the add main baby editing layers. Again, this is on the LSP Newborn Digital Background. Photoshop Action is not included with this set. Um, I use these for all digital background editing. You can use them for everything. So if you want to go ahead and get those, you can. If not, you can edit by hand. So I've clicked on the layer it's created for me now, adding a little more shadow over the baby. So I'm just going to shade her in a little bit more there. I may add a little bit of lightness into the face here, just lift her up a little bit. You also have gentle shadow um, behind baby, which you can use here if you need to, but for this digital, you probably don't need it. So at this point, you can go ahead and change the background if you want to. Let me just zoom out a little bit. You can choose any of these. So I'm going to go for this one. And when you're done, when you're happy, you can come up here to File, Save As. If you hit Save, you're going to save over the original which is fine, um, you'll just have to re-download from the website or kind of delete the baby and try again if you're using it for a different baby. So I'd recommend save as, save it as a JPEG for your clients and you're good to go. So it really is that easy to add baby. You can watch video too, I'm going to add another baby into this background in the same way. Um, so if you want to, you can watch video too to see me adding another baby in. Um, have fun playing with this one. It's absolutely lovely and I can't wait to see what you do with it. I'm Lauren from LSP Actions. That's www.lsp-actions.com and this was the In Santa's Hands digital background tutorial for Photoshop. Thanks for watching.